everybody, I am Jenny the Earthy Rose and welcome to Up on the Catwalk with Fuyu Kiku. I'm gonna be doing everyone's backwards. I had given a video of Yayui, then Ibuki, now we are doing Fuyu Kiku. Up on the Catwalk. One of the main events that celebrate the friendship between Hakukuto Island and Yamato Island is the fashion show. Yamato Island is planning on putting its traditional costumes on display. Fuyukiku and Shiraya, who have been helping organize the event, mentioned their plan to me. So, what's the plan for the exhi ex exhibition put by the summer and winter villages? Can I look at Shiraya, please? He looks so cute! I love it! I love his look. Costumes used for the traditional dance at the Summer Village is made by the special method handed down in the Summer Village. D I think I read that wrong, sorry. Costumes used for the traditional dance at the Winter Village is made by the special method handed down in the Summer Village. We're going to dance with those costumes on in front of the audience. Fuyukiku almost looks a little feminine with his hair long like that, but it's not bad. He looks... Orochi looks very fitting. Orochi. I forgot. That's right. He's... he's also Orochi. We're going to dance with those costumes in front of, with those costumes on in front of the audience, and that way people would more appreciate our exhibition. That sounds wonderful! Kikyo! Are you going to dance? Unfortunately not. I'll be busy doing something else. I've already found a dancer though. Kikyo, what would you be doing? Shiraya suddenly gets up from the sofa. I forgot that I had a meeting! Oh yeah? I forgot. See you guys later. Alright, see you later. See you soon. After flashing a smile, Shiraya leaves for the meeting. Few Kiku sees him off with a soft smile on his face. Kikyo? Kiku? What's wrong? I was just thinking how nice he is. Huh? Well, I do think that he is a nice guy. Is it something we have to remind ourselves? Ayamina, you said you were curious as to what I'm what I'd be doing, right? Fuyukiku takes out a small shell like object out of his out of his pocket. That's cute! What is it? This is a shell collected in the summer village. It's Shiraya's idea. Fuyukiku then opens this opens the shell. Oh my! How incredibly beautiful! Inside the shell shines like a pearl, beaming the emerald light. Their part acts like a lip... This part acts like a lip color. You mean this emerald thing? Yes, it turns red when you apply it to your lips. Would you like to try? That's... that sounds cool. I'm a bit nervous though. I can guarantee that you'll like it. Fuyukiku scoops small amount of small amount of lip color to his pinky finger on his pinky finger. Wow, it does turn red. The color changes when coming in contact with water. It will look even better on lips. Ayamina, face me. When I turn to him, his pinky finger touches my lips. We've been told that this lip color prevents you from the bad. That sounds like magic. Did I did I read that right? Prevents? Prevents you from the bad. I think that should be protect We've been told that this lip color protects you from the bad, from misfortune. That sounds like magic. Magic lipstick. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, something that I heard about. Something I heard about a uh, nail polish. There was this nail polish that was being made to uh, help girls. Uh, discern rather if there was drug in their drinks or not. I think that would be, I think that'd be really cool if we had that with lipstick. Lipstick, any form of makeup. Our makeup changes when we, uh, when we do some sort of, uh, drug or food, drinks, or maybe even in the air. That would be really neat. <laughs> Why aren't we fonding for this? Why aren't we fonding for stuff like this? Why not? <laughs> 
I'd rather fall in for something like that than human tra- than- Than indirectly have my money be forwarded to human trafficking, if you know what I mean. <sighs> it's so unbearable. Like this long bloody pause! When can we get back to the story? Ah. <sighs> Thank you! That sounds like magic! Fuyukiku's finger leaves my lips once it finishes applying the color. Kika? What's wrong? I was wondering if the superstition was true. It only makes you more beautiful. Aww. Fuyukiku cups my cheeks. To me, it seems that it would only attract evil spirits. Like what? Bad boys? Mm -hmm. We both break into laughter. After a moment, Fuyukiku puts a serious face and tries to steal and tries to steal my red lips. Kiku? He stops as if he comes to his senses and smiles at me. That's it. He seems to have learned something from my lips. Your lips tempted me with kisses. His index finger which places over my finger which places over my lips as he speaks is tainted in red. It works like a charm, huh? It's unfortunate that I got trapped. Fuyukiku looks me straight in the eye and continues. What is it? Uh, nothing. I've just realized that I can kiss you anywhere I like. His soft lips touch my cheeks before I can speak. Eyes, nose, cheeks. The sensation that his lips gives takes over me. Takes control over me. I'm sorry about that long pause. I hope I was able to make up for it though. I am Jenny the Artsy Rose and I shall see you in another video. Goodbye!